Hey everyone, Ben Jones here, owner and founder of FitBody Bootcamp Arizona. And fitness and nutrition expert, one of the things I wanna give you is food prepping 101, all right? How you can go and do this very easily and quickly. What I personally do with my wife, Amber, is uh, we will go on Sunday afternoon, buy some of the foods that you see right here. It only takes a couple hours to get set up. And most of it, you just do the initial prep, which takes about 10, 20 minutes, which I'm gonna show you right now on how to do this quick and easy, and then just let it cook in the oven or the crock pot. So go ahead, come on over, let me show you first some of your kitchen essentials and what you need to do to get started with this. So guys, let me show you how to use your crock pot, which is one of your first essential tools you need to get in your kitchen and how you can take a pot roast and make this taste amazing with only a few ingredients. What you need is some diced chilies, jalapenos, an onion, some carrots, and of course your pot roast, and a little bit of water, and you're good to go. So let me show you how to do this. And there you go, that's how you do the first step of getting that pot roast set in. It takes only five minutes and make some green chili pot roast, which is what I just did, something I do every single week. Tastes amazing, you'll love it. All right, next thing, let's get your chicken prepped. Let me show you how to do that. All right, next step is your chicken. So let me show you a quick and easy way to do this. What I like to do is just get some chicken breasts or thighs, boneless, skinless, get a marinade that you like, and you can either just throw it in a pan, throw it in the oven, let it bake, or maybe you go outside and throw it on the grill there. Either way, just for today, what I'm gonna show you is what I like to do when I bake it, throw it in the oven, uh, 400 degrees, let it bake for 30 to 60 minutes, depending on what you're doing. And there you go, super easy. So check this out. Here's how you do your chicken prep. Yep, so you put the chicken inside your pan here. And then once you're done, you put in your favorite marinade. Let it soak for 30 minutes, then, uh, or overnight, depending on what you're doing. All right, your last little bit of your food prep is the grains that you're gonna be using. Now, maybe it's something like sweet potatoes. What I like to do, you take these, grate them, just cut them up into little pieces, throw them onto your pan right here, throw some olive oil on top and a little bit of salt and pepper. Throw that in the oven, let them cook. Uh, or you also have your beans or rice, cook up a big pot of it. And then the last thing is once all your chicken and everything is done, you gotta throw it inside your Tupperware and your food. That way you have this ready to go. And I'll show you where and how you want to set this up for your week. Once your food has been cooked and ready to go, put it in your big storage container and then you wanna get your meals ready for the week or maybe just doing it for the day. What I like to do is just take it for the day, put in your greens, put in your grains, put in your fat, and then throw in some protein. And I like to use the glass containers and kitchen shears here. You know, you can cut, cut up uh, your chicken in little pieces. But to use glass containers as much as possible so that way you are not using uh, or getting the plastics or which are phyto, convert to phytoestrogens inside your body. So use glass containers uh, for your daily meals. And then once you're all done, you put your lids on, put it in your awesome lunchbox, your food prep lunchbox. And guys, you're good to go for the day. So give that a shot. That is a key to success. And as the saying goes, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. So guys, Make sure, have your food prep, do it on Sunday afternoons or whatever day works best, and that's how you're gonna dominate, kick butt, and see amazing results. All right guys, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for more awesome videos just like this. We can't wait to see you at the next workout.